Hello my soccer universe, last one, part four. And as it turned out, the way I divide up the teams over the four videos, this one, the last one, how do I do that? First of all, I take last year's table, one, two, three, four, four through two, one, like you have on the side. And every team that has a four next to it is in that video and then I sort them alphabetically. Turns out in this video, I only have two teams, which are the two Roman teams, which end up in the same video by virtue of finishing fourth and fifth last year. This was two Milan teams in the last video. So interesting part there. Uh, it turned out that way and I decided which jersey shall I wear. Shall I go for Lazio? Shall I go for Roma? I like Roma more. But then I said maybe Lazio, but Lazio is the, where I would put the thumbnail. In the end I said let's wear what I consider the best jersey of the last Serie A season this wonderful Roma away jersey uh, beauty. I'm so happy I got this even on sale. So yeah, that's where we will be going with that one. And maybe for next season, I will think about a different way of doing this, uh, dividing the teams up. But you know, I think it's a good way. And honestly, the only way to avoid, I could distribute them out over the videos according to the teams that I have, but I think the only way out of there is to get more team, more jerseys from different teams. But in Italy, it's Roma and uh, especially Milan, where I have lots of jerseys. And of all the other teams, I have only one so far, but we'll get more. Let's start the review at Bologna, the original Macron team in a way, because Macron is from Bologna, so it kind of needs to be that um, Bologna has Macron jerseys. And I really liked the last few sets for Bologna. This one here, uh, the home jersey, I have to say, is all right. I mean, it's as Bologna. I mean, Bologna basically has uh, Barcelona striping in many regards. Um, I never understood this, that you have, you know, the thick strap and then you have a pin strap in one color, pin strap in the other, and then you go to the other color. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, the color is very, very much inf influenced by what Nike was doing. A look at Spurs last season, 1920, or especially Inter. I don't like it. If you have white, it should wrap around and then you have also the white here. I think this jersey would do much better without the white. I think the striping is all right and there's nothing really offensive about this jersey. Otherwise, it, it looks like a Bologna jersey. Let's uh, face it. Uh, I wish that the sleeves were solid. That, you know, the white could definitely be toned back. We don't need that. Decent effort and for a decent effort, especially if it's in a sponsorless version, the way it is here, um, you know, I cannot really go lower than seven stars and I'm gonna go with seven stars. I will go low though for the away jersey. When they played against Milan in this one, I I could not fathom it. Uh, I think they have a sponsor which actually fits nice in there, but the crest is ghosted and the Macron logo is not. Gray sleeves. But I had such nice sash or with stripe um, away jerseys and now they come up with this rather boring effort. The best thing is the color that there is some different colors but I don't get the gray sleeves at all. I don't uh, get the ghosted crest. Uh, this looks like a Macron uh, team wear jersey, not like a Bologna jersey. And for that reason Two stars, just for absolute lack of imagination. Much better than is the third jersey, which is gray, black, maybe bluish, the red band and uh, with the logos. I think that logo looks all right. I would wish maybe that the band goes around the shoulders, which does not happen these days anymore. Like same here, I think the flash here could go over the shoulders as well. Um, and that the sleeves had kind of the same color as the torso. But other than that, I think it's a pleasing third jersey. This is what it fits right in. You see it. Yes, it's Bologna. Yes, it is it's different. It will never replace the home jersey, but it's a really good effort. And for that, also serves and stuff. But the away jersey, don't get it. Staying with Macron, 
Lazio has become kind of this um, beaten for Macron ever since they lost La uh, Napoli. I think they're the biggest team that Macron has on their, uh, at least in Italy. And yeah, again, like with Sampdori, I don't understand the under the sleeve stuff, but other than that, it's a pretty decent Lazio jersey. Yes, not as great as the one with the eagle on there, but what would you expect from a Lazio jersey? Exactly this light blue then they have a little gradient over the shoulder which i think looks nice and then the black logos it's fine the collar may be a little thin but i think it's a really really decent nice jersey i don't like this under the sleeves looks like sweat stains in white yeah we go figure and that's why i only give the seven stars without those i think we would talk eight maybe nine i do not get the nominal away jersey i do not get it while neon lime green whatever Make this in white. I could not complain about it, but this it doesn't make any sense other than, uh, you know, maybe there is some connection to Lazio that green suddenly needs to come, but I honestly don't think. This is a green jersey with the Lazio crest slapped on it. This is what I hate when they do it. And therefore three stars, it is, makes no sense whatsoever to, to me. It actually hurts my eyes to watch it in game, to be honest. Uh, and the third jer jersey should be what the away jer jersey is. Basically, it takes the home jersey and makes it navy, navy blue with the gradient into light blue. Again, pit stains will prevent it from having 10, but this is the most pleasing one. I give this nine stars. I really, really like that one. I really, really, really like, like that one. That has a very good, you know, it kind of levitates up a little bit. So that's a really pleasing jersey. Let's go to the rivals, Roma. This home jersey has honestly grown on me. When I first saw it, I thought, yes, I know what they want to do. They want to replicate the famous late 70s, early 80s jersey, red, where then it went uh, into a yellow, I think even white on top, which is still very popular in the fan shop. But then he wanted to do a modern version, so basically the gradient is reversed, so we get the classic Roma base, then yellow, and it gets darker. What I still and I and and then what really bugged bug me and still bothers me is that then that the shoulders have a darker shade of this maroon Roman red than the torso or the sleeves. This still bugs me. I think a jersey would look much better if this was kind of um, one base color and then you have the maroon kind of on the side a little bit and on the sleeve cuffs uh, the darker uh, tone. I think that would be sufficient for me to be honest um i really like that it wraps around this pattern except in european com competition go figure but i really love that this pattern wraps around that it should actually also go over the sleeves i think this would look even better and would make it more striking uh call it as you like it you can call it uh like ice cream pop jer jersey or tequila sunrise i mean the houston astros in baseball had a very similar jersey as I said, it has grown a lot on me. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, this is horrible. But um, I have to say, the more I watch it, the more I actually like it. And I want to levitate this up to really eight stars. I think it is that good. This will be the last effort for um, Nike, uh, of Nike for Roma. Um, but it has a certain something to it. I really like the way it looks. And when it's worn with all red, I don't, it's not, all, all red is not the look I want to have for Roma. I want to have for Roma a red jersey, white pants, black socks. Um, but all red in this configuration looks really, really, really nice. Very well done for a last effort. Also, I have to say that the away jersey would be something that I've been waiting for, but they mess up the colors a little bit for me. I know many people love this jersey. It has the classic polo collar. Again, a little bit too short for my liking. But what gets me, it has this ivory color, like the one away jersey from Roma that I already have, just a sec. So this is a 1617 Roma version, also has this off-white. Maybe this is even, yeah, very similar and also has the Lupetto crest. I actually have to say, I like the Lupetto here better because it is within the circle in the color. So this is a little bit more colorful. I like the color on this version a lot better. 
that there's no complaint about it. Uh, uh, there is no uh, talk talk about it. Um, and the color looks gives it a more style. It also it has only the um, simple side straps. So that is a good part. But the Lupetta crest, just the Lupetta by itself, um, you know, a little bit yellow is missing. Uh, to here, honestly, some yellow is also missing, but at least you have it here outside, outlined around the crest, which makes it a little bit nicer. So that's, it's small potatoes, but I have to say, if this was plain white, I would like this a whole lot better. And if the red was not the darker red tone from the home jersey, but the slightly lighter one, the, this type, just a little bit lighter, I would like this jersey a whole lot better. I think then we would say 10. This way, I really like it. It's a classic, simple look. It's not spectacular. And for that reason, I also only give these eight stars, although there's lots to like here. There's lots to like here, but I think the colors is just a little bit too off for me. And then the third jersey is another Nike atrocity, although I think for Roma, the, it kind of gets it there. This is again Air Max inspired. I think it was a Safari, Safari Air, Air Max, which you see on the side pattern. There's a little uh, leopard pattern or, or whatever. I don't like the template, but a black Roma jersey with orange shoulders is not out of the ordinary and I think is acceptable. The patterning on the side and the way the whole thing is cut just make it look awful. But I think at least, at least, you know, Chelsea, Spurs, uh, Spurs actually got it somewhat destroyed. Um, but I, some other teams that we have seen from Nike when they wait for the La Liga doesn't look that well. This one, it does not look super. For that, I probably would have uh, wanted that at least the black around the collar here goes away. And maybe the torso is all black, then it would look a little bit better. Maybe you can also make the sleeves all orange, you know, give it a little bit more um, regular look. But then again, that this is exactly what Nike wants, something different that people will gravitate to and say, yeah, this is different, that's why I buy it. People are like, that. I mean, this is different, that's why I bought it, uh, but this looks more Roma to me than that one. Um, to me it's a mess, the way it looks like, and for that reason, uh, yeah, since the cars, are, I give it four stars. I have here a black, black Roma jersey, should look something like this, I have to say. You know, black and then a tinge of orange, get rid of this grayish patterny stuff. So yeah, Roma, Mixed bag. Uh, let's go to Spezia, Acerbis. Acerbis is the sponsor, uh, is the supplier, uh, which we saw, I think, in a Europa League review for Lugano. You don't see much because the background is black. I mean, I, I love the sponsor. It's kind of this plate on there, which looks weird. The Spezia crest is just the inner circle of the entire crest, at least from what I can tell. Maybe it's... Um, uh, re a reference to an older crest. I'm not sure I like the shoulders. It reminds me a lot about a Ghana jersey. Um, and then the Italian thing is their only championship which was in an abandoned World War II season. So they have to... Rep uh, I have to say it's slightly messy, but the sponsor is almost iconic. I gotta say. For that reason, I'm willing to give the six stars. We have a black away jersey, uh, which has a little bit gray, and then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not so fond of that one. Five, I mean, it's very similar, but I'm not so fond of the colors, although they fit kind of with the crest. Uh, and the third jersey in blue, yeah, it's also a five. It's also a five, although I think with blue and, the, you know, blue and an Italian flag, this national team almost will fit, but yeah. It's not the greatest set of kits, but it's fine and it's an off brand. And then we'll end it in Udine, who continue uh, this weird pattern that they had from last time, but actually this time I like it a little bit better. That you know, slightly slanted, you have the black and white. I mean, I would love to see black and white stripes for Udine. And Udine is pretty near top of the list of uh, Serie A teams that I want to get. Um, I think the jersey is all right. It's a little bit outside of the box. Um, sponsors are a bit too colorful. And so we are ending up around eight. Let's give this eight stars because I like the black and white. That it's doing something 
differently. Uh, that looks all right. Um, the away jersey though is the really interesting one because this pays uh, homage to uh, the Friuli communities all over the world. Um, before we go into the pattern on the sash, first of all, you have the Udinese crest and you know, uh, yellow and blue are the Friuli colors, so that's why we have this. Um, what looks disjoint to me is A, the crest is in full color, which would be fine if the sleeves wouldn't be a completely different blue and then have a red on there, which I don't really get um, when the rest of the jersey is blue and yellow. That looks odd and then you have the kind of gray, black, whitish Udine crest. That looks weird. But I, I really like the detail on this jersey uh, and that will actually pump it up a little bit. I mean, if this was just like, like that without the de detailing, I would say five stars, four stars pro, 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 probably. But let's look at the detailing. The sash, all the cities that have a Friuli community are listed on there. And this makes for a heck of a tribute. I really, really, really like that one. And then in addition, you get on the bottom the eagle, which makes it very prominent. So a really great idea. I just don't really get the red and the start. I would like to have a bit more cohesive jersey and for that reason, I see already the crest is not entirely full color, but uh, it doesn't really fit either. It's kind of the blue from the, sl from the sleeves, which doesn't fit. For that reason, I, I like the idea. It's over pleasing, but I cannot go more than six stars on this one. This is really pushing it. I. I'll keep it at six, although normally if there wasn't all this reference, I would give this five. I really liked all the third jersey. Juventus should have something like that all the, all the time. Uh, it's worn with white pants. Yellow, black, white. Simple, gorgeous. There's a little patterning on there. You see there's a kind, kind of a cut similar to the home jersey. This is a really sweet jersey. That one, I give an easy nine stars. And there you have it. We have complete, completed the Serie A 2020-21. That's always a mouthful to say. Jersey review. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!